Hi guys! So I know it has been forever since we've made any kind of video for our channel. Um, life has honestly been just crazy since you guys last saw us. So um, we've got some an exciting, well, sort of an exciting week coming up ahead of us, and um, I really wanted to start vlogging again and just because I feel like I've just been missing out on so many moments with the kids and um but I feel like I can't just jump right back into vlogging without making kind of like a life update for you so that's what this is just telling you where we've been for the past six ish months we've been kind of just disappeared from YouTube so um yeah I thought I would just jump on here make a quick video I look like who I have no makeup on and um, I kept telling myself that I'll wait to make this video until you know I have to have a day where I'm home and there's not like kids being crazy and I look half decent and that's just like those days don't come around very often especially with the kids not in the house but um, I have Milo here he's actually sick um, I'll get more into that later but um, so he's home with me and uh, Will is at daycare, Mason is at school, and um, I don't look presentable today, but I thought, you know what, screw it, I'm running out of time <laughs> to make this video, so I just wanted to get it done, and yeah, so this is what you get, this is what I look like most of the days, nowadays, even when I go to work, I usually don't put on very much makeup anymore, so, um, the last video that you guys saw on this channel was um, I think it was like a Halloween video it was right before Halloween and I was actually getting ready and gearing up to go for my manager training course um, so that was a week-long course that I had to be away from home um, about four hours away from home actually and so I was staying in a hotel for that week and just kind of video chatting with the kids the whole time and it was really hard um, it might sound silly because, you know, Halloween isn't really like a super important holiday or anything. You know, it's not like Christmas or something, but. Okay, sorry, I had a phone call and got interrupted. So it's not like um, Halloween is this big holiday that I missed out on that, you know, important like Christmas, but um, Halloween is my favorite holiday of them all. I mean, I don't know, Christmas. Christmas and Halloween are probably pretty neck and neck for me. I just love, like, the kids get so excited about trick-or-treating and it's so cute watching them get dressed up and going out and I like getting dressed up with them normally and so I was just really bummed out that I had to miss it and so as Steven was video chatting me um, and he was Snapchatting me videos of them walking around and out trick-or-treating and stuff and it was so heartbreaking I was like crying and it was so upsetting and oh it was rough so that really sucked um, but it was nice coming home and reuniting with them and that was the longest that I had ever been away from Willow so um, yeah it was really nice just getting back home and right after Halloween um, was Milo's fourth birthday so his birthday is November 4th, so it was really busy. I had to tell Mom and Steven, like, you guys need to make sure that the Halloween decorations are all down so we can get his birthday decorations up, like, ASAP. And I was pretty good at, like, prepping ahead of time with his birthday decorations because I knew that I was going to be gone. And usually it's, like, the week before a birthday. I'm, like, in party prepping mode and, like, the whole week is dedicated to, like, getting all their birthday stuff ready. So I had most of his stuff already ready and so it was pretty easy they just had to make sure that the house was no more Halloween so we could put up party decorations and it didn't look funny having both so that was nice they had that all done and um, he had a really fun birthday he had a dinosaur themed birthday um, I'll maybe insert some pictures in here I really wish that I had have vlogged it because it was one of my one of my favorites, I don't know, I mean, each birthday that I do, I feel like comes out pretty well, but I just love dinosaurs so much, and so it was really fun to do. And we had, like, a little um, photo 
booth that I painted that I was really proud of. And um, this really cool balloon um, bush thing that I made that was really neat, that was like jungly. And my friend made a volcano for him that we got to erupt and stuff, so it was really fun. Don't touch. Oh. <laughs> this is pink. <laughs> So he is four now. He's growing up so fast. And then um, at the end of November, I can't remember the exact date. This is probably the most exciting part of this life update is crazy. We found out that we are expecting baby number four. So yeah. Crazy. I am now um, 26 weeks and two days as of today. So I'm already way over the halfway mark and um, it's been going really well. We were really shocked when we found out. Um, it's just crazy, you know, like it's, it's insane to think we are going to have four children. It's so crazy. And we did find out the gender, so we didn't do any big like gender reveal or anything. We just made a cute post on Facebook and told all our friends and family and stuff. So um, we are having another boy. So it's crazy. Three boys, like what am I gonna do? I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna have the grayest hair ever <laughs> from three boys, so. um. Yeah, that was really exciting, just like finding out the gender. So now I've been kind of shopping a little and we got rid of all of our boy stuff. So we kind of basically have to start from scratch and yeah, so it's crazy. Um, but it's fun and my pregnancy has been going so well, honestly, I couldn't really, I was pretty sick in the beginning and even now, um, I just, I get really nauseous and it, it seems a lot different than my other pregnancies for sure. And I don't know if that's just because, you know, it's taking a toll on my body. This is the fourth pregnancy that I've had and I'm getting older. I'm 30 now. So I don't know, but it just seems like it's a little bit rougher on me, but at the same time, it's been going really well. There's other than the sickness, there's not really, um, I haven't had any complications. My glucose testing came back good. All my, levels in my blood. I'm a little bit low on iron at my last doctor's appointment, they told me. So um, I just have to make sure that I'm eating a little bit more iron-rich foods and whatnot and being better at taking my prenatals because I'm really bad at not taking my prenatals. So, But other than that, he is a healthy little boy who just wiggles around all over. He is my most active baby out of all the kids for sure and maybe I just don't remember as well you know because in the moment you're like holy crap this kid is moving non-stop but i um, pretty sure that he's my most active um, baby so far uh, while I'm pregnant so it's really fun he's always just kicking and moving me in there and yeah so it's so exciting we're so excited to, to welcome a new little dude into our lives so we will Keep you guys posted on how that's going and that's another reason why I wanted to start vlogging more just to kind of capture some of my pregnancy you know life before four kids and whatnot so um, and I would like to just document all of that so I don't know if I'm gonna do actual like pregnancy updates or whatever but just kind of talking about it in the vlogs and stuff like that um, so then that was like like the end of November that we found out that um, we were expecting again and um, shortly well I mean it was I honestly don't even remember when it really happened but my grandma um, is in a she was in a in an old folks home like a lodge where they uh, took care of her um, she was pretty high needs so 
um, after she had her stroke, she kind of just couldn't walk anymore, couldn't talk, um, but she was still doing okay. And then so things took a real bad turn, like the end of November, beginning of December. Um, she got really sick, and so we were visiting her a lot. Um, me and my mom were going there several times a week, just sitting with her and kind of waiting for the end to come. So it was really hard, and um, my grandma had a huge part in my life and a huge role, and I just, I love her so, so much. And it was so, so hard seeing her like that, and especially, you know, so close to Christmas, and it was just a really hard time, like, trying to prepare for the holidays, and then spending time watching her suffer, it was, it was horrible, so she finally did pass, I think it was just a couple days before Christmas, I can't remember the exact date um, off the top of my head, but her funeral was just the weekend after Christmas, so um, it was just not a very fun holiday for us. It kind of just put a damper on our Christmas this past year and it's, you know, it's been hard to say goodbye to her and it's hard for my mom to to see her grieving her mom because I couldn't even imagine. So, um, yeah, we miss her very much and that was very sad for us. And then after grandma got sick, you know, life wasn't too crazy. <laughs> after that, it was pretty normal. Um, I'm trying to think. I have like a little list of like everything that's happened and I'm probably missing some stuff. Honestly, I can't even remember some dates. It's just prego brain. Um, but around February, end of February, our kids started. We had a trip out of town and it was just like a little city that's like two hours away and we planned a little... Um, night in a hotel with water slides and whatnot and um, we planned like a fun little weekend getaway with the kids and Stephen got sick with we thought it was food poisoning but we think now it's the flu because after that it was just like a chain reaction I got the flu so bad the boys got it it was just it was horrible I've never been so sick in my life it was just horrible, horrible. and since then our kids have not been able to stay healthy, especially Milo. So Milo is home right now, and it is Thursday today. So since Saturday, he's just been fevering off and on. Um, I took him to the hospital finally yesterday to try and get some answers, and they didn't really give me much other than when they ran his urine test. He had some blood in it, so they gave me antibiotics to try and treat um, what they think is a bladder infection, which might be triggering the um, fevers, and the fevers, I believe, are triggering him to be nauseous, and so he's vomiting, and it's just not fun. So um, Mason had croup at one point, and it was just this horrible cough, and he was on inhalers, and he had like a steroid, and honestly, Willow has stayed the healthiest through this whole time. She didn't get like the pukies or anything, um, she had a bit of a cold and that was it. So it's crazy. I don't even know how she managed to stay so healthy, but I think it's helped that I've been sending her to daycare, um, even when I'm staying home with a sick kid, just because I don't want her around all of the germs. And so, you know, sick kids aren't allowed at daycare. So obviously she's <laughs> a little better there, better off with no sick kids around. So that's been really kind of crazy for us because it's just, it's been over a month of just like sicknesses in our house and we just can't catch a break. So it's been rough. Um, and in April, Willow turned two. So it is, what's the date today? The 18th today. Yeah. Yeah. 18th for sure. Um, so her birthday was on the 13th. So it was just like five days ago and she turned two. So we had a really fun birthday for her and maybe I'll put a couple pictures in here so you guys can see. Um, we had a mermaid themed birthday party for her.
and it was really cute. And we ha we rented like a little hall. Um, it's the first time in a while that we haven't had to party like here at the house. I just didn't want to deal with all of the cleaning up and all of that involved, you know, having your house trashed after a birthday party. It's like you clean for the birthday party so your house looks really nice when company is coming over. Then it gets trashed from the party and then you have to clean all over again. So I just didn't want to have to deal with that. So yeah, it was really fun um, just having her party somewhere else and it was a really good turnout. There was lots of people. We had like mermaid themed lunch and stuff. So it was fun and she's just, it's crazy that she's two and she's going to be a big sister and I'm just like, wow, it's crazy. So um, other than that, I don't really know if there's anything else to really update you on. Um, I guess going back to like my manager training, cause I've been managing the hotel now for on May 1st, it'll be officially a year since I took over as the actual general manager. So, um, it's crazy that year flew by so fast. It's crazy, but it's been going really well. It had its challenges and, um, but it's definitely been good. You know, I'm enjoying it, even though it is stressful at times. And it was, I was really nervous to tell my boss that I was expecting. It was kind of funny how the whole thing came out because um, my assistant manager, everybody at work knew how nervous I was to tell him that I was pregnant again. <laughs> I mean, obviously, legally, he can't get mad or upset about it, but I was just really nervous. Um, this will be my fourth maternity leave with this company, so I just feel kind of guilty like leaving again, especially when I just took over and stuff. So, um, but yeah, it was funny, and he was totally okay with it, and you know, um, so yeah. And then other than that, the only other thing that I can think of that's kind of like new is we got another dog. So you guys know our dog um, Juniper. Um, we've got her sister. And her name is Phoebe and she is her sister from a different litter so they look very similar and they love each other so much and it's so cute um, I have her here today I probably won't show you her I'll show you in like the next vlog we do or something but um, yeah so she's she's such a little cutie and she's finally just like you know starting again with another puppy it was like okay we gotta potty train again and stuff so that was not too fun <laughs> But she's doing really good now, so it's it's a lot better now that she's all house trained and stuff. So, um, but that is all I can really think of to update you guys on. I didn't want to just start a vlog and you guys be like, "What the heck? What's been going on with you?" So now you kind of know what's been going on for the past six months. Oh, right, that's what I didn't tell you. We have a trip coming up, so it is Easter weekend this weekend, and um, we have a plan on. We have a funeral to go to for my uncle this um, Saturday and then my brother and his wife and their daughter are coming down and they're staying with us so we're gonna have like a little Easter with them and then on Sunday that's Easter Sunday we're going to go to Stephen's mom's house and stay with her for a night we haven't seen her for a while and then we have plans to go to a city called Drumheller it's in Alberta and it has like a they're known for their dinosaur museum so we're gonna take the kids to see the dinosaur bones and all of that and we have two nights in a hotel there and then we are going to um, Edmonton which is another big city in Alberta and they are known for their huge mall so we actually rented um, they have these like really cool themed rooms so we rented this theme room for two nights and then we're gonna spend the time in the water park and they have like a theme park with rides in the mall and then we have two nights just in a regular hotel in that same city just to kind of who knows we don't really have a super like locked in plan of what we're gonna do but we just wanted to take since the kids have no school this week um, we thought it would be really fun we've never done anything like this kind of like a family baby moon type of thing before the baby comes so um, I'm hoping to vlog most of that so that is the biggest reason why I wanted to get this video uploaded so um, you guys can kind of join us on that journey. We're hoping that Milo's going to feel better. It's Thursday, like I said today, and we're supposed to be leaving on Sunday to Stephen's mom's house. So 
fingers crossed and praying that he is feeling well enough so that we can still continue on with the trip. Um, obviously, if he's sick and we're unable to go, then so be it. But the kids are really looking forward to it, including him. So I really hope that everything turns out and then we can go. But yeah, so that is probably the next video that you'll see from us is something from that trip or something from Easter. So I will talk to you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.